Welcome to the town of Astoria. As you can see, it's a small town with a large port on the North Oregon coast at the mouth of the River Columbia. We will be discussing the causes and effects of earthquakes in Astoria. Earthquakes in this area are sourced from the Cascade Subduction Zone. Currently, the Juan de Fuca Plate is being subducted underneath the North American Continental Plate. As this occurs, a large amount of pressure builds up as the plates struggle to move past each other. Suddenly, the plates will slip, releasing uh, P, S and L waves. P waves, primary waves, are the fastest waves, followed by S waves, which are called secondary waves and shear waves. These move in a side-to-side -side motion, causing rigid structures to shake. However, the most damaging seismic waves are L waves, referred to as love waves. Uh, these travel at the surface and are the slowest waves, uh, and they move in a transverse and horizontal movement, causing the most damage. Local faults may fail, causing local earthquakes in this area. The seismic waves cause the ground to shake, which result, can result in collapsing buildings and gas pipes to fracture, which may cause fires, killing people and burning down property and buildings, like in the 1932 Tokyo earthquake. The shaking will cause damage to roads, the port, uh, sewage pipes, which may leak and may create waterborne diseases. This is a liquefaction prone area, as a local geology is unconsolidated alluvial deposit and fill. Uh, along the shoreline, which caused the port to sink and the bridge to collapse, causing major commercial and residential traffic disruption at the mouth of the River Columbia and further upstream. Due to the soft and unconsolidated geology, landslide subsidence are a major hazard in this area, as well as, as if the epicentre of the earthquake was out in the Pacific, a tsunami would also be a real threat.